one of the ways to, to, to get a beautiful sound mm -hmm. is a slow attack. You can use weight, mm -hmm. but slide. Mm -hmm. uh, have, have all the fingers equally firm. That's right, and same thing, equal, nice sound. But stay, stay with it. If you want to lift, lift here, but keep the fingers down here. Give me, uh, put it down, I want to press. Uh, but you see, I'm still staying involved with the fingers. I'm not kind of getting off the keyboard. Beautiful sound. Wait, and light. Long, long. Long and long. Now Yeah, there, I would call that a romanticized It's very lovely, and it's absolutely logical, but not for this music. I would, I would come from here to here. Moment, then the yata-da-da-da, moment, then the yata da I would do, I would do a different sound, but rhythmically, I would keep that together. I am not at all sure that a Schubert adagio is the same kind of adagio as, for example, Beethoven adagio, which really is, is somehow lost out there in the state of suspension. It's certainly slower than, a, than, than an andante. So I would think this is adagio in four mm -hmm. and not an adagio in two. It needs what you might call a kind of cosmic patience. <laughs> you know? mm -hmm. It needs listening. You see, I think this idea of supporting the composer, hanging on to long notes and moving little notes, really gives you the best of both worlds. Because the first chord, you can almost Hold as long as you want. Listen to it as it sails. Mm. It's it's on the air. And then move it. And then Take time. Move time and and move to the time and then move here to the right mm -hmm. once more at the beginning uh, repeat the same sound wait now move inside How long can you hold that? Yeah. How long? Da -di -da. Hold and da -di -da. Na -na -da -da. Da -da. Hold.
okay? Mm -hmm. That was that was fun, I thought. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So in terms of a, a metronome beating off sixteenths, they were great distortions. Uh -huh. But I think in terms of the demands of the material, I think we're on we're on the right track. <laughs> Come once more to me. Before you, you kind of picked up tempo here. I'm not sure that that's that's uh, necessary. It has a, a, um, a tendency to kind of break up the piece into sections mm -hmm. instead of having this sense of a kind of organic evolution. You know, it's the same piece. Uh, so I would uh, to come uh, and. Sati are you're really jabbing it. It's the American orchestra. You're punching it in the nose. Don't do so much here, but here. Yes. Follow on. Yes. Now, this this is like like a big, a huge rock in a in a body of water in a lake. Rum and all these sixteenths are like the ripples that, that give off, you know? Mm -hmm. And in a sense, this is the impetus to go forward, and here it relaxes a little bit. Mm -hmm. So you get four bars, kind of of the same. <laughs> Or, um, or maybe two and two, you know, you can you can play around with it. Relax. Good, very good. This is the end. That's it. Good for you. Stop all that. Yeah. Let me give me your finger. See where it stops? Mm -hmm. In there? on all of these. Don't put it, don't make a sound, just feel where it yeah. stops. Yeah. So play going down to that point. That's it. But here is somebody else. Wait before you start. Yes, it's somebody singing. Beautiful, that was beautiful. sense of, of do you know the Earl King yeah. that song yeah. you know it's it's a frightening song yeah. you know how the 
little child is being pursued by mm -hmm. death, I think it is. And there's, there's a kind of urgency. I, I, I get a feeling that this, this, sorry, is very beautiful. And I'm wondering about hey, what, 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 if, if you again think in one, la, 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 yes. All it means actually is that this chord is piano. Here they're both forte. Not rough, not rough, not rough. Right. To the, to the to this that's it and then disappear can this be one set of instruments can this be something especially coming up there once more from there let me see something it's interesting. The high point mm -hmm. here is on the third beat. Mm -hmm. Here, the high point is like on the half or end of the second beat. Then he has no high point. He's building up and comes all the way up mm -hmm. to a high point, which is on the second beat. Mm -hmm. They are nice. Now, different. Beautiful. Yeah, do all of those with, with the kind of thing from here. Yeah. Beautiful. The lower you get, the thicker the sound becomes because of, 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 of the register. So in a sense, the lower you get, the more finger action, the more clear. Otherwise, uh, it gets, you know, that's good. So often, all the little filler material that essentially is a kind of embellishment mm -hmm. rhythmically overly influences the way we play something. So that's why I try to find a basic pulse outline. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, that's the upbeat. It also happens in the second bar. It's an eighth note, but it's still, you know, Bum bee, bum bum. And it's again, three times it's C, 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 and then the party. Do that one set. Do it, add the left hand now. Do it again, do it again. That's better. Now do Schubert. So you see how you come to it? It's almost like a detective, you know? <laughs> deductive, yeah. starting from something larger mm -hmm. and then refining it and refining it and refining it. I'm going to ask you, starting here, to make it dance, to make it lilt. And what that's going to involve is real rhythmic distortion. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's a way of placing ones. Oh. Want to start from there? That's neat. That's very beautiful. Yeah. 
exaggerated even more. Really off the wall, big exaggeration once more from there. Yeah, yeah. That isn't all that bad. I mean, it's a, it, it was a large distortion, but yeah. because it supports the structure of the music, therefore it doesn't come off really as, as distortion in the usual sense of the term. Mm -hmm. it, it further identifies and characterizes the material because the, the, he stops there, and, and that's what you supported. Here he doesn't stop, the yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. He goes all the way through there. So you went a, a, along, and then you stopped, because he stops, and he stops. Uh, good, once more. Yeah, there's a different sound. Covered, cover the sound. It's still, it's still soft. I think you should feel to Beautiful. <laughs> there are sound or character differences between the different composers. A Mozart forte is not like a Beethoven forte. Schubert is probably closer to Beethoven than to Mozart, probably. And these sound differentiations involve just an added variety of, of the way you use your hands and fingers, you know. This bit. I think there's, there's something a little more demonic about this. You know, it, it comes out sometimes really kind of, you know, not cute, but you know, but you know, and that's a really kind of scare. That's terrific. Yeah, do once this for me. Good. Now, so it gets, it's a combination, you know, of stuff. This is a kind of uh, bounce and rhythm of this. And it gets another aspect. If you add this. Good, once more. Place, place. Beautiful. Now, do that same thing here and play with longer finger. Play more on that pad rather than closer to there. Just this time, just this time, yeah. Now get closer to the fingertip. about this for a moment. What's your impression of what's happening um. here? He's, he's, he's having some kind of fun, don't you think? I mean, this playing around with this, this, and that, and this, uh, and the uh, yaddy, uh, sorry. Uh, and I think that if you gave a little accent at the beginning of each change, this, this kind of a thing. Yes. <laughs> 
I mean, that's, you know, it is fun, I think, in a weird way. Good. Now the next level. Yeah. Can you do wumpa, wumpa, wumpa? A little bit, uh, it sounds a little casual. Yes. Yeah. I would do something as crazy as that. Yeah, three, one, three, one, three, one. That, I think I think. Oh yeah. That's so much it makes creepier. It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the barometer of my success. So much creepier. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Love it. Love <laughs> it. No, but it's true. It, you get a different sound than from this. Yeah, they got them, they let them, they let them. single notes here and just three note chords there this is much thicker writing so you don't have to play that much louder it's already mm -hmm. he writes it in in a sense so just keep the yum pa dum pa dum pa dum pa dum pa dum pa dum pa yum pa dum pa dum pa the crescendo to the centrifugal. Wow. Uh, that's really creepy. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> What's more? Hold it, hold it. Perhaps not actually change the tempo, but place, place more and more. <laughs> uh, slightly slower tempo long soft fingers yes you hear you hear the different sound you get if you if you play the pad of the finger in just a Gently, it's a different world. And even more, okay. This comes out awfully well each time. Mm -hmm. I would love, mm -hmm. yes, its companion down there mm -hmm. to be heard as an answer to that. Mm -hmm. And then all of this, excuse me. It's almost a little pluck. 
plucking of the key on the, on the first note. Gives it kind of energy. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, but now I don't. It doesn't uh, have that rhythmic strength. I might be. I might even cover those. What is it? Cover them right, and then a little impulse. Right, a little ding dong. Yes, that gives. That's that's orchestral sounding. Right. comes from that 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 attack that impulse and you can get away with a lot less loud playing uh -huh. because you have the the strength that comes from that the the quality of that attack of that power uh -huh. it doesn't have to be loud you know and and the characteristic of all of this but um but um but um curiously enough the eighth note is what i like to call disadvantaged uh -huh. in relation to the quarter one, because it's on the weakest part of the beat. It's the third eighth of whatever the beat is, first or second beat, right? Mm. Doesn't have the power of the, of the first. Mm. And it's only an eighth note in comparison to the quarter, mm -hmm. which means it's in our ear for only one third of the time. We only hear it, so it's twice mm. disadvantaged. Mm. Now, if you want to give it that, that, that kind of power mm. or give the passage that kind of power, you have to kick up the eighth note. You have to almost play the eighth note more than the quarter. Yeah, padam, 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 padam. Yeah, padam, 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 padam. It's tough. You see? Yeah. Three, do, do, di, do, ram, di, li, how, how smooth can you make that? Same thing here. Give a little accent on boom, put a put a put a put a put a put a let it evaporate. And now nothing. Be careful always. Yeah, let me see something here. I think you might. That uh, if you just prepare the last, prepare that. But that's it. Yeah, right. Okay, this is all recap. There's a there's there's a way of emphasizing this third time. That's the first, and that's the second. I'm you know do some kind of distortion so that we realize that something is is unusual. It's not just the same uh, roller coaster, you know. Right? But I'd go for some uh, yes, and then B C right. Yeah, it's, it, it loses a little bit of its spine. That's it. You know, and that comes that comes from this impulse from the arm. Yes. You see, you're using more material and it, it holds it. It, 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 it makes it tighter. If you just use this, there's not enough stuff that you're moving. You have to move more. That's it. Good. Now. Yeah. It's not a question of pedal. It's not a question of making that thicker. Even more active. Now active. That's it. Right. Very good. Can you make it even disappear more? Take the rhythm. Ram, ram. Right. Yum, ram. There's a ram. That's it. What was the difference? Arm. 
Is it? Okay. Well, it's up to you to find out. That's your technique. That's technique. 